Yup, that's me trying to get the perfect thumbnail for this video and after what seems like a million tries I got it. What's up everybody welcome back to my channel and today I have an updated Lidl grocery haul video for you and I'm going to be doing it a little bit different this time around so instead of just doing the grocery haul I'll also be sharing some little grocery shopping tips with you wow little has gotten a facelift everything looks so bright and beautiful in here and i just saw that they won the fresh flower supermarket of the year these flowers are fresh and they just look so beautiful so let's go to the bakery section i like that their bread is always fresh the bakery section always smells so good and i'm always tempted to buy a lot of items from the bakery section but today i'm just going to get this seeded bloomer and it costs just 99 pence i really like this bread and we just like it in our house and we usually buy it when we come to Lidl so that's what I'm buying today oh by the way I'm still going to talk about peak of the week but basically for peak of the week you will enjoy 30% off a variety of fruits, vegetables, fish and meat products and also of the bakery so as you see this six soft white rolls is 30% off and so it's part of the peak of the week Like I said, Lidl has gotten a facelift, so everywhere you have this big on. So you have big on Christmas, big on bakery. So the first tip I wanted to share with you today is peak of the week. So when you're shopping at any Lidl store, be sure to check out the peak of the week because there is always a lot of price cuts going on. As you see from this uh, video, there's a lot of price cuts and usually when you find like an orange uh, tag, it shows that there's a price cut. When it's green, then it's a new product and when it's white, it's just like normal. So that's something that you should definitely watch out for and I'll touch more on as we go on in this video. Also, the fruit section is just so beautiful, so green, everything is so fresh and I was just tempted to add a lot of things to my shopping cart. I'm in the veg section now and you can see that everything is just so fresh the carrots and on this aisle this peak of the week aisle you can also find a lot of price cuts as well um, one of my favorite things to buy is this brown onions this one kg brown onions because it's just more affordable than the 500 grams uh, brown onions this one kg brown onions cost 67 pence I also like that they have a wide range of potatoes there's the red potatoes for one pound 15 pence king edwards potatoes for one pound 19 pence uh, they have one pound 19 pence for the baking potatoes maris piper potatoes for one pound 15 pence and that's that's more than one kg by the way have you guys tried the dark chocolate in Lidl because I love it especially like the Cadbury dairy milk chocolate I I like to buy this every now and then when I come here it's it tastes really good and this Peruvian chocolate as well just tastes really really good it's one pound 39 pence i like that they have uh, different selections so from different countries as well so you know what it tastes like and they are fully stocked on dark chocolate guys fully stocked on dark chocolate and everything just looks so good so if you're yet to try anything from this chocolate section um definitely give it a try it's also actually very affordable another little shopping tip that i want to share with you is you can measure some things that you're buying especially the nuts on this aisle you have the pistachios almond and cashew nuts although they ran out of cashew nuts but instead of buying them in packs you can actually measure uh, the number of kg the number of kilograms that you want weigh it and you know the exact uh, quantity that you're buying i really like it that way it's also uh, cheaper than buying the one that is already packed this is a lot more cheaper than that and so if i want to buy this nuts in quantity i usually like to just measure it 
and they also won the fresh produce retailer of the year award so little way to go these fresh bananas are from guatemala i really like that they get their produce from different countries and not just from uh, britain and so this one is from guatemala it's really fresh i picked one of these and i also like that they have organic um, products as well so they have organic bananas and i also got one of these as well whenever i'm in lidl i always find myself buying these brownies i usually pick four brownies to last me for two to three weeks it's like a treat for me and i enjoy it it was 49 pence before but now it's about 59 pence i don't know why the sudden increase but it was a lot cheaper before um so here goes another little shopping tip is when you're shopping be sure to check three for one pound prices or a bundle price so they would say um three for a particular price or five for a particular price whereas if you were buying just one of that item it would be more expensive for example this toffee field yum yum is 49 pence for just one whereas if you were buying three it would be one pounds and so that's it for the bakery section i haven't been to lidl in over a month and so i was pleasantly surprised when i discovered that they've had it more fruits and the store just looks different for example i saw this uh honey pomelo and it's just one pound 49 it is so colorful and i ended up not picking one and i don't know why i didn't pick one but it was just so colorful and it's just perfectly ripe plums for one pound 89 and it's just so fresh can you see how fresh it is this pomegranate is 95 pence and ready to eat kiwis is for 99 pence there is four in a pack so this section is beautiful and i went home with one i took one easy peeler for 69 pence so you can see the green uh label that signifies that this is new if you watched my other video i think that's my uh sainsbury grocery haul video i'm not sure which now i was saying in that video that i've never seen easy pillar in um which otherwise called tangerine i've never seen it before in lidl so i was just so excited that i found it today assortment let's see what that is it looks like uh chocolates just different types of chocolate looks real good and it costs two pounds 59 pence for that usually i'll pick this simply eggs there's 15 in a crate but they ran out of that so i decided to pick this 15 mixed size eggs from woodcourt here is another little shopping secret always watch out for when it's gone it's gone items so items that are tagged when it's gone it's gone simply means that uh, they have very little of that item left item is no longer available they don't have so much of that item available so maybe they have just one or two of that item and when it's gone it's gone now i'm just picking my fruits because i love making my smoothies and these fruits they just look so fresh i, I couldn't resist it i'm in the meat and chicken section now and i picked chicken drumsticks for one pound 35 the chicken breast fillets costs four pounds 79 and i also check the expiry date of products is good till 14th of november and this is what i wanted to show you the when it's gone it's gone they don't have much of that item in stock and so if i wanted that particular item i'll pick it because once it's gone it's gone and um, this is the beef section i picked this beef the beef is actually quite expensive but this is a family pack it costs about four pounds 79 for that yeah am i right yeah about four pounds 79 for that beef i love me some italian tomato paste this one is 700 grams and it costs just one pound 15 cents i also love buying simply chopped tomatoes because you can find chunk of tomatoes and it's just 28 pence it's hands down my one of my best food items in little also keep your eyes peeled out for middle of little that is another little um offer 
I always like this section because there is no limit to what you can find. These are basically non-food items and I, whenever I am in the middle of Lidl, this aisle, I discover the strangest things. They always have very interesting items from scented candles to toys, all sorts. They have all of that in middle of Lidl. It's a good idea to shop over the weekend. For example, this video was recorded on a Sunday. You will find items like this toaster, this kettle that costs $17.99 and comes in different colors. You find air accessories. I found this crunchy that I really like, just 99 pence. You find so many items. You also find um, this crimp set. I found this food storage containers, which is just perfect for the holidays, for storing food, and it's just four pounds ninety nine. I ended up buying this pan, this frying pan, because I've been wanting a small frying pan pan since forever. I found this beautiful tea press. It's just it's gorgeous. Drop <laughs> that gorgeous. It's eleven pounds ninety nine. I also found a paint kit. I think this costs two pounds ninety nine for that paint roller set. That I found gorgeous. this dog plate toy as well. <laughs> I have fun playing with it. I'm sure that your furry baby would also like it and like I said Lidl is open for Christmas they are beginning to store up on Christmas food items and chocolates and just look at this favorina chocolate I have fun twirling with it and just checking it out they have different sorts all sorts of chocolate and um, food items that are Christmas themed I'm going to show that later on in the video and I love me some Ferrero Rocha in the beginning of this video I was showing you my struggle with getting a thumbnail this was the aisle where I took my thumbnail by the way this is the first time I'll actually be saying uh, this uh, large turkey they have it in different sizes there is a small medium and large this is the first time that i'll be seeing that here so they've definitely stocked up on their products this is the christmas themed uh products that i was telling you about so they have this christmas tree ice cream lollies if you want to get that uh, they have like finger foods and I was just going to walk past this finger foods but I had to do a double back. I needed to get this. Plus they're so so affordable. There's stuff that you can have in the house if you just want to you know put something in the microwave and eat. It's really easy to do that. So I got this. This was just £1.99. I also got this. Um, spring rolls is just 16 in a pack and it's 99 pence how cheap is that how affordable is that so so affordable there's this 12 chicken skewers as well for one pound 99 i got that as well and you have fish and chip cones that also cost one pound 99 um, the crispy prawns one pounds 99 so it's basically uh, affordable and something that you can have in the house as finger food uh, no I don't think I'm getting anything from this aisle But I want Greek yogurt though. So there is creamy and then there is low fat Greek yogurt. Let's just do this one. Little branded chocolates, little branded drinks. So all of those things are way more affordable than you buying 
the little um, product the same item but not from Lidl. I hope that makes sense. So always that also watch out for items that are directly from Lidl because it cuts the cost down and it is just as good as if you were buying the same item that was not you know Lidl branded. I picked this sponge clothes for one pound thirty nine. You can use it wet or dry. I ran out of baking paper and just needed one. Little really got a facelift. I'm really happy with the store. It just looks bright. Once you come in, everything just looks really bright. So yeah, the store really got facelifts. This is another uh, fridge for ice cream, cheesecakes, all of that and everything here is less than three pounds i got these uh breadcrumbs i ended up with taking the golden breadcrumbs i don't know why but either you get the natural or golden breadcrumbs cost the same thing uh i bought this sweet corn and green pea as well I, this time my basket was already overflowing so i had to grab another basket so one basket was filled to the brim i also got this potato wedges as well and these french fries for 65 pence i hope you enjoyed shopping with me today i'm just so glad i'm stocked up on food for the month of november i ended up spending 58 pounds 59 pence and i went home with three full bags thank you for watching this video make sure you like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one